Have you ever wondered what the most expensive inventory in CS2 is? That's what we're going to be finding out today. I'm going to be building an inventory with the most expensive skin from each gun in Counter-Strike 2. We're only going to be using liquid prices for this inventory, meaning we're not going to factor in, you know, rare floats, rare patterns, even sticker crafts. I'm strictly going to be using the base price of the skin. Before we get started, I am going to be giving away this AK-47 inheritance in minimal wear condition once we hit 1,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. Please join the Discord server, it'll be linked down in the description. That's where I do all my giveaway information, make daily announcements, and play with you guys in the community. We'd love to have you. Let's get started. Now up first we have the Glock Fade. This thing got released as part of the Assault Collection way back in August of 2014 with the Arms Deal update, the update that brought skins to Counter-Strike. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $1,000. $450 and it's still the best looking Glock to this day. Now our most expensive USPS is going to be the Target Acquired. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $180. This got released back in 2020 as part of the Control Collection. Half the reason it has its expensive price tag is because it trades up to the Op Fade. Nonetheless, this is still one of the best looking USPSs in the game. The pink is absolutely phenomenal. Our most expensive P2000 is going to be the Ocean Foam. One of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around $125. This of course trades up to the AK-47 Fire Serpent which is part of the reason it has it, such an expensive price tag to it. But I still think it looks absolutely insane. That baby blue finish really looks amazing especially in Counter-Strike 2 with the new metallic finish on the weapon. Our most expensive P250 is going to be the Nuclear Threat. This comes from the new collection released all the way back in 2013. This isn't the craziest skin, you know, nothing really to write home about. but it's still going to run you up around $400 in factory new. I do think it looks absolutely insane. It's an older skin, so it is really hard to get one in factory new. There's only a handful listed across all marketplaces right now. Nonetheless, a great looking skin. The most expensive dual Berettas in the game are the Duelist. In Factory New, these are going to cost you around $140. They got released back in 2015 as part of the Chop Shop collection, and part of the reason they have their expensive price tag is because they trade up to the M4A1S Hot Rod. They do look really good, of course they have the sapphire finish on the handle, a great looking skin. For the 5.7, we have the Neon Kimono. In Factory New, these are going to cost you around $265. It got released back in 2015 as part of the Rising Sun collection. Like I said, I'm not factoring in patterns into the price of weapons, but this skin is pattern based. You can get ones that are more yellow, and you can get ones that are more white. This is every 5th grade highlighter kid's wet dream, a great looking skin. Now for the Tech 9, we have our first repeat skin of the list, the Nuclear Threat. These are going to cost you around $600 in Factory New, and it comes from the exact same nuke collection that the p250 nuclear threat comes from these are the two purple skins in that collection meaning they are the highest rarity that you can obtain from that collection and that's where they get their expensive price tag from now for the CZ, we have the Chalice. This thing got released all the way back in 2013 as part of the Cobblestone Collection. This thing does look great, don't get me wrong. The only reason it has such an expensive price tag is because it trades up to the Op Dragon Lore. In Factory New, one of these is going to cost you around $460. Now for the Revolver, we have a bit of a jump in price. It is going to be the Fade, and one of these is going to run you around $12 in Factory New condition. Don't get me wrong, I think this thing looks absolutely phenomenal, especially for being a Fade. It looks out standing here on the revolver looks honestly better than some of the other skins that have the fade finish on them i think the price is so low just because no one really uses the revolver our most expensive desert eagle is of course going to go to the iconic blaze one of these in factory new is going to cost you around 550 dollars this thing really speaks for itself it's one of the most iconic skins in counter-strike history i don't think it's actually that good looking but the name itself drags so much attention it's definitely a w skin now moving on to our smgs our most expensive mac 10 is going to be the hot snakes one of these in factory new condition is going to run you around 200 dollars part of the reason this thing is so expensive is because it trades up to the ak-47 x-ray so it does come from the Havoc collection. It is actually a really surprisingly nice skin. You know, you'd look at the name, you'd look at the skin, just about a picture of it, you'd see a snake. You don't think it's going to look that cool. You look at it in-game, it's actually pretty nice. Our most expensive MP9 is going to be the Wild Lily. One of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around $2,000. I think this might be our most expensive skin yet. This comes from the St. Mark collection released back in 2019. And of course, part of the reason this is so expensive is because it trades up to the beloved AK-47 Wild Lotus. Nonetheless, this is an amazing looking MP9 and in my opinion, the best looking MP9 in the game. Our most expensive MP5 is going to be the Oxide Oasis. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $350. This thing does come from, of course, the 2021 Mirage Collection. It does trade up to the beloved Op Desert Hydra. 
that whole collection has a beautiful orange theme to it and i'm kind of ashamed that the oxide oasis got wasted on the mp5 i wish it got put on something a little bit better looking now the most expensive mp7 is going to be the whiteout one of these in factory new condition is going to cost you anywhere from 410 to 470 dollars of course you're going to want to find the lowest float you can possibly find so it has absolutely zero wear on it and this thing looks absolutely phenomenal any whiteout skin looks great but for some reason i really like the way the mp7 looks in particular our most expensive p90 is going to go to the astral jormungandr again i apologize if i pronounced that incorrectly but this thing looks absolutely insane that beautiful teal color just looks so absolutely breathtaking one of these in factory new is going to cost you around 300 dollars or so and it of course comes from the norse collection and trades up to the beloved op gungnir our most expensive PP Bison is going to be the Modern Hunter. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $150. This is a very old skin, so it is very hard to get in a low wear. It looks absolutely stunning, though, in my opinion. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, but I personally love the way the Modern Hunter skins look. Now our final SMG is going to be the Ump Fade. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $400, probably a little bit over. It is a little bit more expensive than some of the other Fade skins. The only reason is because it comes from the 2021 Dust Collection, meaning it trades up to the beloved AK-47 Gold Arabesque. Now moving on to the heavies, our most expensive Mag 7 is going to be the Sincata. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $630. This thing does come from the Canals collection, meaning it trades directly to the Op Prince. That's part of the reason it has such an expensive price tag. I do think it looks absolutely breathtaking nonetheless. It is a beautiful looking skin. Now our most expensive Nova is going to be the Blaze Orange. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $350. I don't think this thing looks absolutely mind-blowing, but I do personally personally like it. I think it embodies what Counter-Strike skins used to look like. If you see one of these guys on your team rocking a blaze orange, you know they have experienced and you know they're a veteran player. Now moving on to the sawed off, our most expensive skin is going to be the copper. This is a unique skin on the list because check this out, here's what a factory new one looks like. When we move to a battle scarred one, it turns a really nice green. It's kind of like copper in real life, when it oxidizes, when it's battle scarred per se, it turns green. One of these in battle scarred condition is going to cost you around $250 and I think it's a super unique skin, definitely giving this skin skin of the video for uniqueness. Now moving on to the XM, we have a couple skins that are neck and neck tied for first place being the most expensive. My personal favorite of the three is going to be the Frost Boar. This thing in Factory New is going to cost you around $100 and it does come from the Norse collection meaning it does trade up to the Op Gungnir. Nonetheless, this is a beautiful looking skin that definitely deserves to be on our list. Now moving on to the M249, we have the Blizzard Marbleized. One of these in Factory New condition is going to cost you around $110 and this might honestly be the worst looking skin on the video so far this does come from the office collection and I, I honestly have to say the only reason it's expensive is just because it's old not that it necessarily looks like a good skin our final heavy of the list our negev is going to be the mjolnir one of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around two thousand a hundred and fifty dollars this thing does look absolutely incredible the only reason the price is that high is because it trades directly up to the op gungnir nonetheless this is a beautiful looking skin i love it so much definitely my favorite negev one of my favorite looking skins in the entire game now moving on to the rifles, our most expensive Moss is the Spitfire. This thing comes from the Alpha Collection released all the way back in 2013. One of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around $200. This is a very bland looking skin, but I do think it has kind of a classic touch to it. It reminds me of World War II era US planes with, you know, the face, angry, the angry face on the front of the airplane. Very cool looking skin. Our most expensive Galil is going to be the Aqua Terrace. One of these in factory new condition is going to be $130. This thing got released all the way back in 2015 as part of the Rising Sun collection, and it is my personal favorite Galil in the game. I personally think that teal and white geometry pattern on the skin look absolutely beautiful. Our most expensive M4A1S is going to be the Knight, spelled with a K-N. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $2,800, give or take. This comes from the Cobblestone Collection, meaning it trades up to the Op Dragon Lore. I do personally love this M4A1S. It's not necessarily my favorite in the game, but I think it looks so good. 
The most expensive M4A4 is going to be the Howl. One of these in factory new is going to cost you around $6,000. This is the one and only contraband skin in the entire game, meaning you can no longer unbox these things. And it's been that way for a very long time. This is a very rare, very desired skin. Definitely a banger. The most expensive AK-47 in the entire game is the Wild Lotus. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $12,200. You heard me right. This thing comes from the St. Mark collection. Not everybody loves this skin. Me personally, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm a huge fan of green and I'm a huge fan of skins that have beautiful artwork on them. And this hits both. The most expensive SG553 is the Hazard Pay. One of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around $200. I personally am a huge yellow enjoyer, so I think this thing looks absolutely incredible. It might not be everybody's favorite looking skin, but I definitely think it looks amazing. Moving on to the AUG, our most expensive skin is everybody's favorite waifu, the Akibara Accept. One of these in factory new condition is going to cost you around $3,600. This comes from the Rising Sun collection, so it is a very very old skin. It is the covert skin from that collection and it's absolutely beautiful. Now moving on to our scoped rifles, we have for the SSG-08, we have the Death Strike. This thing comes from the 2021 Dust 2 collection, meaning it does, again, trade up to the Gold Arabesque. I do personally think this thing looks absolutely phenomenal, and in my opinion, it is the best looking scout in the entire game. Now for the G3 SG-1, also known as the Auto Sniper, we have the Kronos. This thing in Factory New is going to cost you around $240. This isn't anything crazy. It does come from the Gods and Monsters collection, with it, which is a beautiful collection. I do personally enjoy this skin. You also got some Greek mythology in the name there. But again, nothing really to write home about. Now for the SCAR-20, the T-Side Auto Sniper, we have the Brass. This thing in Factory New is going to cost you around $105. I don't really like this skin, to be honest. I think the Brass looks better on the Glock than it does here. But I am kind of getting nostalgic Black Ops 1 Gold vibes from this skin. Kind of like a shitty version of the Black Ops 1 Gold camo. Now, last but not least, the most expensive op in the game is the Gungnir. One of these in Factory New is going to cost you around $11,600. This thing is just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I've spoken about it before, but I absolutely adore that blue and white finish on the weapon. One of my favorite color combinations is blue and white, and this thing pulls it off absolutely perfectly. Of course, it comes from the Norse collection. It's the covert from the North Co Norse collection, sorry, and it looks absolutely incredible. Enough said. Said. Now, if you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate all the love and support you guys give me on all my different videos. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am going to be giving away this AK-47 inheritance once we hit 1,000 subscribers here on my YouTube channel. Please make sure to join the Discord server down in the description. I am going to start hosting community events, playing with you guys, playing little game shows. I have a great bunch of ideas that we can incorporate once we get a couple more people in the Discord server. Please make sure to join. I'll see you guys next time.